Hey Ratbags, it's Jay today reviewing a gameplay footage video from Corekeeper showcasing the brand new Mage and Warlock classes that have been added to the game. Effectively, magic is being added. You are going to now have a mana bar. It's pretty obvious that that might be the blue bar there and that is what's going to gauge how much magic you can do. Expect to pick up brand new weapons, items and more to achieve that and yeah, the devs are showing it off. I will leave the link to the full video. It's about 16 minutes long, something like that, so definitely go check it out. What they're doing today, they're going to go and take on one of the bosses, well, slash mini bosses in the game, and it is pretty much a big change from how it used to be. I love Core Keeper, if you don't realise, I know I don't really cover it week in, week out, but I've been every step of the way for every update, highlighting and showcasing anything new, and just one of the best games going. I'll be all over it when it releases on a 27th of August on Xbox, PlayStation and Switch, although there is a slight delay in Switch and Xbox One, PS4, that actually won't be happening until September the 17th, but it is going live on Xbox Series X and S and PS5 on a 27th, and of course 1.0 update, which I will be showcasing massively as you know, I might hopefully get some access to it a little bit earlier. Anyhow, let's go through what magic really means in Core Keeper. So the basics, yes, you can have a projectile that you'll fire and you can see the blue bar going down. And yeah, it's pretty good. Obviously, there's a whole plethora of different styles and weapons in Core Keeper. Everything from melee to ranged and more. This is going to be a nice addition. Now, David here, one of the developers, he's going to go as the Warlock class, which means he's summoning. You can see the two bats that they're summoning there. They're going to basically be doing even more damage. We've already had pets in the game, but these look to be additional summons that I'm hoping we can strengthen and make even better. So, yeah, really cool system. If you have pets, you have summons, this is going to be really, really interesting. And you can see the amount of projectiles zipping off pretty quickly, taking on some of the Cavelin enemies. So I was wondering what the bats were doing because they kind of weren't really going in for the kill that much. But you can see they are now starting to fire projectiles. And they look like they've got some sort of molten or maybe fire ability on them as well. So a bit slower pace obviously than firing your own projectiles. But definitely handy. When you're getting mobbed by a ton of enemies which can happen in Core Keeper. It's going to be great being able to have these still doing damage while you heal or dodge. We get to see a little bit of the magic build items there. It looks pretty cool. The set and obviously the pet here being given some special treats to make it a bit stronger. I do believe this pet is also new. I think it's an owl, so you've got all its new abilities there as well. Physical range damage maybe being the one that it does the most. Then we got a chance to see the arcane staff itself. 61, 73 magic damage, 3.3 attacks per second, 8% critical hit chance. This is an item level of 8, remembering you can go ahead and upgrade. So I wonder if you upgrade it reduces the cost of the mana being used, or just does it just make it strong? That's something we'll have to find out. So they've got an enemy to try it on, and yep, you can see the magic whittling away, absolutely obliterating that cavelin troll. The magic there table is there, you've got the magic skills that you can go in, you can choose what skills you want, you can reset them at any time, but there is a limited amount, so you can't choose all the special little extra abilities or bonuses, you have to kind of go down a path choosing one or two. Seems a bit odd having like an empty space in the skill tree, and that's kind of bugging me a little bit, so maybe they're going to add something else to it for 1.0 or in the future. But there's all the other skills that you acquire by basically doing more of. The more you dig, the more you level up your digging, the more you use certain tools, weapons, the more you fish, you level up your fishing, you level up your stuff. And that's how you gain basically extra powers. So I do presume there might be some enemies more weak to magic than others. I can't remember if that's ever been like a huge thing in Core Keeper where some creatures are more resistant or weak against sort of archery or, or melee damage. But either way, it definitely said it does 10 mag magic damage there. So this is Malagos, one of the bosses or mini bosses in the game. And yeah, taking him on, he's going to be darting around, setting fire to everything. It looks like definitely here it's the way to go with the summons. The bats are doing a little bit of work and taking quite a bit of damage off them. And eventually when the mage gets a chance, it can fire off some projectiles with its actual mage staff. This boss was actually incredibly hard for me. I never actually got around to doing it until I was way overpowered because the bunch of times I tried, it just absolutely demolished me. It does look like it's a slightly different arena. They've got rid of some cheesy methods that you were able to use to kill it, but it does look like it's changed now and made it a bit more difficult. I'm really interested to see what else we'll be able to do with the magic and stuff. Switching here to projectiles. Obviously, he's got his mana still, but maybe showing off a little bit more of some of the shots and stuff. But yeah, really want to see what else we can have with the magic system and summons. 
does look like he's upgraded tier to three of the bats as well. So yeah, looks like we might be able to get even more. I wonder what the limit is. It'd be really cool if you could set a whole army. Plus with the pets and stuff, you really will have a lot of minions and creatures fighting and protecting you. So really, really cool stuff. I've also found out by the looks of things as well that there won't be the mod support for 1.0. That's going to be something that's coming in the future maybe for consoles, but not there at launch at 1.0. They have got mod support on Steam using the mod.io site, which means that other game companies have managed to incorporate that on their games in other platforms. So yeah, I'm kind of hopeful that Core Keeper will add that in the future because it does mean that everyone gets to play with mods rather than only Steam players. But great stuff. Like I said, you're going to see some more preview videos from me up until its release, and I'll be all over it, as I said. Check out the full video to hear the thoughts of the developers themselves, and I'll see you right back for more Core Keeper very soon.